On Friday, I was walking to school and I was walking across here and like, it was really icy and all of a sudden I like, and like, I fell in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> I was like sopping wet because it was like slush. My name is Lisa Adachi. I'm 18 years old. I love ice cream and yoga. I love basketball boys and basketball. <laughs> I'm kind of like the mom of the group because I like know a lot of things and I always have like tissues in my purse. Everyone just always says like, oh, hi mom. Hey. These are my nieces. They're my sister's kids again. and so. <laughs> oh my gosh. We cook a lot of food. I think I lost count of how many cups of flour I put in. I'm pretty sure it was three. My parents got divorced when I was in second grade and everyone else had two parents and I just kind of only had one and so when we, they had like daddy-daughter stuff, I felt kind of stupid and like left out. But I've learned that that part of my life is, you know, it's over and I've gotten past it and I feel comfortable just being myself and that's really one of the most defining things that have helped me to become empathetic for other people and also just be really grateful for the things that I do have. I've kept a journal for a little over two years and it's been one of the best things I've ever done. When I'm really sad and I'm down about something, I've been able to look back and see how just even a few pages down, it like always works out. It's like, okay. And so journaling is one of my favorite things to do because I think it helps me a lot in my life. I was just finishing junior high and I was so overwhelmed with just feeling inadequate. And so I wanted to really find something that I was good at because I felt like everyone had sports, everyone had like an instrument or something. That's when I found this organization called Operation Smile. Basically it's just a children's charity and they do uh, cleft lip and palate reconstructed surgery all over the world. In 45 minutes, which is shorter than my lunch period, that one thing can be corrected so quickly to change someone's life forever. I was able to go on a medical trip with a bunch of doctors and nurses to Amman, Jordan, which is in the Middle East, right next to Iraq and Syria. Our job was to help educate these kids and families about things like dental care and nutrition. One of my favorite experiences when I was in Jordan was when I was just sitting on the ground with these kids surrounding me. I was so dirty and I was so tired, but these kids just smile up at me. And at that very moment, I've never felt happier in my entire life. And I knew it was so worth it just for maybe even one kid who was sitting there smiling up at me, just saying, shukran, shukran, which means thank you. And I was like, I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> but it was just so life-changing at that very moment. I just knew I wanted to keep that in my life forever. I believe service is not just a series of acts, but a lifestyle. And I believe that ice cream and yoga and brownies can make anyone smile. <laughs> My name is Lisa Dashi. I'm a high school senior. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm a klutz. I'm a humanitarian. I love to smile, and I am a Mormon. <laughs>